Okay, so you've established it's a halfway decent machine. The artwork, the play field is not all beat up from like ball marks and 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 burn marks from from a lot of play and all the paint and the artwork is gone. Again, it's artwork. It's all condition. So if it looks good, it just doesn't run. It might be worth four or five hundred dollars. If it runs and it looks really good, a thousand, couple thousand depends on the theme. But we're gonna say you go ahead and pick it up. If it if it's so so, if it's got some wear, if it's got some flaking, but the back glass looks okay. If if it if it checks off a couple things and you can pick it up for under three hundred dollars, it's worth the gamble. So now you got it home, now what? It tries to start, but you plug it in and you push the button, either nothing happens or it just lights up. Uh, you can't get it to, to, to get a credit and actually start a game. Or you start the game and it runs on and on and on and on and on. So the first thing to do is kind of to, to take it apart and go one at a time. And understand that these are electrical, mechanical, and that means every action has a reaction. So if you push a button or you hit a target that pulls in a magnet electrically. I don't know if they still teach it in school, but if you wind a piece of wire around a nail and you attach it to a battery, the nail becomes a magnet. Same principle, okay? Every action has a reaction. So, what we're looking for is overloads, okay? Overloads are heat. If there's something that happened that something got stuck, okay, that magnet wasn't designed to hold that for that long. It was just ting, ting, ting is all it was supposed to do. It was supposed to hold all the time, okay? So, in it, I'll give you the example right here. First thing we're going to do is go through all these and tighten them. These are the contact stacks, okay? And it has a little magnet in it, like I said, wound up with some copper wire. And when that's charged, it pulls down on this stack. So that's off, that's on. It's like a computer. That's zero, that's one. But then it has different zeros and ones. There's makes. There's brakes, and there's make brakes. Okay, the one here at the top is a brake. When it goes, that one loses contact. These two down here are makes. Bam, that makes the contact. The one over here on this side, if we flip it over, is a make brake. Okay, there's three in there. So the top one breaks, the bottom one makes. Boom. So that's the three style. The thing is, these will get loose, okay? There's screws that hold that stack together. So if you just go through and give those a little snug, don't reef them down real tight. Sometimes they'll have a nut on the bottom. It depends on the manufacturer. But that's the biggest thing is these will come loose. And so things don't trigger like they're supposed to. The other thing that can happen, and I believe I had this machine, this very machine, I worked on it four years ago, five years ago. I had this thing running. And now when I'm going through it today, it, it does some peculiar things. But you can see here there's debris down there. And that's the, the wrap that goes around the uh, electromagnet. And i well, what's that doing down there? And the one that was in there, as you can see, is quite toasted. It's, <laughs> it's burnt pretty good. So something happened probably since this is if we look down at what this one does this one does that is the first ball relay so probably what happened was somebody came over started a game and didn't play it and the machine sat here in first ball ready mode and that magnet is not designed to have hours and hours of just sitting here with a ball ready to play the game it wasn't it has too much heat build up after just a couple of hours. So it sat here and cooked itself. So <laughs> if you collect these, when a game starts, play the game. Play the whole game. So as I'm going through these, the first step is when you get it home is to go ahead and pull the play field out, set it aside, and go through all these and tighten the screws that hold the stacks down. And look for the burnt coils. If you see burnt coils, they need to be replaced. 
um, what happens is there's a varnish on that wire and it burns and now there's a short circuit in the middle of the coil and, and they can't be fixed but luckily these are only you know, 20 30 bucks a piece okay so they're not real expensive and if you know how to solder they're not real hard to replace so that's what I'm going to do is go ahead and solder the new one in and continue going down pull each one out tighten the stacks check the coil and one by one we'll get all the functions working again okay here we are on the bench and uh, you can see where they, they just they explode they fall apart but there's your core it gets magnetized and there's your wires to and from and again that's just wrapped around numerous times on the Gottlieb's it's a code on Williams it's a pretty easy and on the Batley's it's a pretty easy code to understand um, on a Williams that's 29 gauge wire wrapped around it 1100 times pretty slick huh that one is 26 wrapped 800 times so each one has now there's a dual field because it has two sets but that's a Gottlieb so it just has a number we know that's a flipper that's a coil for a flipper a 5141 that's why it's hollow because it pulls the shaft for a flipper but that's uh, I have a couple yeah that's there's another one here there's a Bally what's its number come on focus on it that's 38 3000 so it's 38 gauge wire wrapped around it 3000 times that would be for like a hold, uh, like a coin mech or something like that. That could stay held in for a very long time and not produce a whole lot of heat. This one, however, was not designed to stay held in for such a long time and it couldn't stand the heat. Luckily, like I said, these are all pretty cheap to buy. It's a fun hobby to get into because it doesn't cost you a lot. Sometimes you get frustrated trying to find parts and like score reels you get broken things within them and it's you know you're looking for parts but luckily there's there's hobbyists out there that that have parts to share so let's get this one uh, put back together and see if we can get it to run all right so we have the new first ball relay coil soldered in there's lots of channels out there to show you how to solder. So that one can go back in. We've cleaned, we've taken the, the file. I have a file here that you get from Pinball Resource. And you just shine up the uh, all the contacts so that, again, we're ones and zeros. It's just like a computer, but it's exoskeletal. So there's all your ones and zeros right there. And if they're not making good contact, well, then she doesn't play right. And it seems like a daunting task to go through every single one of these. But a journey of a thousand steps starts with the first one. So just get after it. It's a fun hobby. You tinker with them, you tinker with them. Eventually it comes time to test. And we have to rigorously test them. That's what we tell the wife. But yeah, it's still got some things wrong with it. So we'll just, uh, we'll go through this one if I find anything else that's blatantly obvious. Like I said, I had this thing running five years ago. So, and I think they played the dinkins out of it for about a year and then they left it sit. So we're going to see if we can get her all woke up again. Thanks for following. All right, we went through it all. Found a bunch of loose stacks. One more burnt coil. Um, and the player adjust wheel, we had to mess with that. That was out of adjustment. So let's uh, fire it up and see what happens. Well, that's a good dang sign. Uh-oh. No?
Well, it didn't want to kick the ball out. Let's see if it scores anything. Hey, we got score. Let's see if it picks up where it left off. One in there. Nope, not kicking the ball out. Let's see if it'll advance the player. Yep, it sure did. And scores the second player. So we've still got some work to do. Yep, not kicking the ball out. But that's okay, we're getting closer.